Hey guys! After today's episode, the fans will be anxiously waiting for the release of the next episode. Dragon Ball Super Episode 123 can T come out any sooner. The episode was lit, and you can T deny that. The episode left us wanting more, and honestly, I was mad when the episode ended, it was too short. However, the episode was an absolute hit. But, the focus of our discussion is Dragon Ball Super Episode 125. Before we begin with the post ID, like to inform you that the post contains spoilers for the upcoming episodes of Dragon Ball Super. So, if Don T want to be spoiled then better turn back right now. Now that we have got it out of the way, let us begin. There have been endless discussions about Jiren and Vegeta and their fight. Although the result of the fight was fairly obvious, the episode gave Vegeta a very nice moment of his own. Vegeta will be getting a new power-up in the next episode. With his new power, Vegeta will attempt to fight Jiren once again. But Vegeta isn't he the only one who will be powering up. Jiren will increase his power even further in the next episode. The guy is already above the level of a god of destruction. And now he is powering up even further. I can t believe that he is going to get even more powerful. In today's episode Jiren said that he has a motive to grow even stronger. There is another guy from Jiren S Universe who will be powering up and that is the huge mustache Tapo. He is a candidate for the position of the god of destruction. Tapo is genuinely underrated by the fans as they think that Tapo is weak. Tapo actually defeated Goku in the exhibition match before the tournament of power began. According to the spoilers of Dragon Ball Super, Tapo will unleash the power which matches the power of a god of destruction. The episode of Dragon Ball Super Episode 125 is an event of the god of destruction, Tapo. There is only overwhelming power. The episode is set to air on the 28th of January. So, after Tapo powering up, Universe 11 will have two fighters who are God of Destruction level. Now, that does leave Universe 7 in peril. Goku will probably awaken Ultra Instinct once again and fight Jiren. The problem is who is going to fight Tapo, and the answer to that question is Vegeta. Vegeta will receive a new Super Saiyan form, so he will be fighting Tapo. Dragon Ball Super just revealed the real reason behind Jiren's strength. Hey guys, Jiren is the strongest fighter in the tournament of power. Ever since his fight with Goku, Jiren has been the talk of the town. Despite getting a power up, Goku couldn't he beat the monster. Jiren has looked unbeatable so far. In today's episode, we witnessed the strength of Jiren once again. If you are one of those people who have already read the spoilers, then you would have known the outcome of Jiren vs Vegeta. But, I would like to thank the creators for putting in a badass Vegeta moment. I had not expected Vegeta to defeat Jiren, but fighting on almost equal terms would have been nice. Well, the tournament of power is far from over. So, Vegeta will get another shot at fighting Jiren. The biggest mystery about Jiren is his power. We have had several theories about Jiren's power. But now we have finally had a concrete answer. The real reason is that Jiren always surpasses his opponents. Jiren has fought many battles as a member of the Pride Troopers. Over the years, Jiren must have fought some tremendously powerful opponents. Slowly and steadily he must have grown in power until he must have finally reached the level of God of Destruction. It will be the same case as Goku. Goku always ends up surpassing his enemies because of his potential to improve. The same holds true for Jiren. Also, if you have watched today's episode, you will know that Jiren has a motive in order to get stronger. He wants to grow stronger in order to protect the weak and the innocent. I find it absolutely fascinating that a person as powerful as Jiren can be so humble so as to protect the weak. I really like Jiren as a character. I hope that Jiren remains a character even after the tournament of power, Akira Toriyama has already forgotten so many characters from the previous series, and I hope that it doesn't happen to Jiren. Continue reading.